This video idea was submitted to me by a subscriber named Gazd. If you want to submit a video idea, go ahead and shoot me an email. I keep my email down in the description box of every video I make. Also, sorry for the potato quality of this video. I had to dig pretty deep into the trenches of the internet to find this footage. So, I'm working with what I got here. Cat Scratch was a short-lived show that ran on Nickelodeon from 2005 to 2007. It was created by Doug Tennaple, who was best known as the creator of the awesome video game series Earthworm Jim. The show was actually a loose adaptation of his graphic novel called Gear, which was released under the umbrella of Image Comics. A lot of the characters in the show are retooled from this graphic novel. Gear tells the story of the podunk town of Squat, and is a lot more serious than Cat Scratch is. The town of Squat is occupied by human-like cats who are bordered on all sides by warlike animals. The town is protected by a gigantic battle robot that's in disrepair. The town's leader sends four cats off to capture an enemy battle robot and defend the town. These cats are Gordon, Mr. Black, Waffle, and Simon. During a battle with a neighboring faction's battle robot, Simon doesn't make it out alive, causing Waffle to blame himself and go off into the woods to end his own life. While he's there, he meets and befriends an insect from a warring faction. The two of them end up playing a really important role in battles to come. When I learned the backstory for this graphic novel that would eventually influence the light-hearted children's show, I was astounded. Gear and Cat Scratch are two complete opposites of the spectrum in my opinion. It really shows how impressive of a creative mind Doug Tennaple possesses. Also, bearing in mind that he created and wrote Gear as well as doing all of the art and lettering himself, he built that whole graphic novel from the ground up on his own. Doug Tennaple is clearly a very talented creator. As of present day, he is still creating and self-publishing graphic novels, including Earthworm Jim graphic novels. But what about Cat Scratch? Whatever happened to this show? Why did it seem to just disappear out of nowhere? All of those are questions that we're going to answer today on our nostalgic walk down memory lane. For those of you who might not be familiar, Cat Scratch was a show about three anthropomorphic cat brothers, Gordon, Waffle, and Mr. Blick. Their very wealthy owner passes away and leaves all of her riches to them, a butler named Hovis, and a menacing oversized monster truck named Gear, an obvious throwback to the graphic novel of the same name. The show primarily focuses on their wealthy, lavish lifestyle and the crazy situations that they get into. The three brothers have almost Ed, Ed and Eddie-esque personas. Mr. Blick is the the confident, vain, self-proclaimed leader of the three, kinda similar to Eddie. Waffle is the dim-witted, happy-go-lucky brother who just so happens to be obsessed with newts, similar to how Ed is. And the third brother, Gordon, speaks in a Scottish accent and he loves to sing. There's also this really weird thing where Gordon is in love with the human neighbor girl, Kimberly. I was helping my mom in the vegetable garden and thought that you guys might like some broccoli. Mm. This is for you. Broccoli for me? Oh, thank you, human Kimberly. Thank you. Gotta go. Enjoy it. Sweet broccoli of love. Oh, how I love it. Oh. In my opinion, this show was genuinely good, but not everyone would agree with that sentiment. Sarah Wank of Common Sense Media gave a review of the show, saying Cat Scratch is a generic cartoon that involves oddly drawn characters who don't really look like anything, very loud voices, very bright colors, and many instances of people and creatures and things being bashed, broken, and bonked. The show is a by-the-book program, but that doesn't mean it's not sometimes funny or even touching. Many kids will get a kick out of it, although you may not be as tolerant. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, but nothing terribly right either. Regardless of some criticism of the show, it was actually nominated for a few awards. In 2006, one of the show's directors was nominated for an Annie Award for Outstanding Directing in an Animated Television Production. That same year, it was also nominated for a Golden Reel Award for Best Sound Editing in Animated Television. It was also nominated for that same exact award again in 2008 too. Though it may not have won, the fact that it was nominated speaks a lot to the quality of the show. One of my personal favorite episodes is the episode called Hi Ho Kraken. The episode starts off with the Kraken trespassing in the three cats' house and begging for their help because he's been exiled from his planet due to being defeated by Gordon the last time they met. So, let me get this straight. 
You've come looking for a room? Oh, I promise to be quiet. You'll hardly know I'm around. The Kraken gets kicked out and is immediately attacked by the military, so Gordon and Waffle decide that they're going to help him. We're going to return to your Kraken planet and reclaim your Kraken life. Splee! Kraken planet! Are you Kraken nuts? The Kraken shoves the cats into his head and flies them off to his planet. Once they get there, we find out that the Kraken Queen is actually Kraken's mother, and she's upset at him for returning to the planet. All of the other Krakens attack him and strap him down to a cliffside, but Gordon stands up for him. Fur-covered Earth Beast, who are you to defy my will? Queen Kraken, I am Gordon Quid of the Highland Quid Clan. We have journeyed these many miles to do whatever we can to help our friend regain his place in your land. They celebrate him with a duel, and a massive three-headed kraken appears and starts beating up Gordon. We are the growing giant! I cannot... Just when things are looking dire for Gordon, the Kraken Prince breaks free and saves him. The Kraken Prince tries to fight the three-headed Kraken, but he ends up getting completely pummeled, but Gordon gets the idea to have the Prince Kraken throw him as hard as he can at the three-headed beast. With the monster being defeated, the Kraken Queen grants Gordon one wish for being the one to have bested the beast, and Gordon wishes for the Kraken Prince's honor to be restored. The Kraken Prince and Gordon share a touching moment, and just like that, the episode ends. Personally, I really like this episode because Gordon was my favorite character in this show. He was unique and didn't really play on any character tropes that I had seen before, which made him feel like a really original cartoon character in my opinion. After the last episode aired in February, 2007, reruns were shown on Nicktoons Network until about 2009, then it just completely disappeared from Nick. It was briefly shown again, specifically on December 15th, 2015, as part of the Nicktoons Holiday Marathon. Other than that, it almost seemed as if the show had completely disappeared out of thin air. There are currently two episodes available on DVD, one being on Nick Picks Volume 3 and Nick Picks Volume 5, which were DVD compilations of different random Nicktoons. Other than that, none of the episodes were ever put out on DVD. There have been no reruns since 2015, and as a matter of fact, Cat Scratch also isn't available on any streaming platform. Other than small YouTube clips, it's almost like this show never even existed to begin with. They completely disappeared from the public eye, and that's one thing that Gazd brought to my attention. They couldn't find this show available to watch anywhere. I'll tell you right now, I was able to find it online, but I had to do a lot of digging. Other than that, what do you think? Do you remember Cat Scratch? Did you enjoy this show when it was airing on Nick back in the day? Let me know in the comments down below. I love reading your guys' opinions, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like so more people can see it. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.